Hello everybody, I'm at a red light, so I am vlogging really quick. It's already like 2 p.m. I thought I was gonna do so much today in the morning, and I guess I kinda did. I just had so many emails to answer, and for some reason, it takes me so long to answer the emails. Okay, it's not for some reason. The reason is I get on my computer to answer emails and do stuff like that, and then I just like open up another tab, and YouTube's up on the other tab, and then I start watching videos, and everybody knows what happens when you start watching videos. You start watching way more videos than you thought you were going to watch, and recommended videos really ruins my life. Recommended videos is the reason for every problem in my life. But anyways, I'm right now going to get my car painted by some sketchy stranger. Not painted, okay. I uh, am a terrible driver, as you guys all know, so I have like a side swiped car like my bumper is completely scratched the side of my car is really scratched and this guy stopped me one time when I was in a parking lot and he was like hey I work for this like dealer or repair something I don't fucking know if you come to our lot it's like a few hundred dollars to fix these scratches but sometimes I do stuff on the side so like if you want to meet me we can meet in like a public place we can come back here and I can like fix your car really quick for really cheap and I'm just like whatever because I'm selling this car anyways because as you know I got my uh, I won the car for dance showdown so I'm getting a newer car that I still have to go pick up, which I haven't. It's been ready for so long, but I only have one parking spot. So basically, long story short, rambling, I'm going to get this car's scratches fixed so that the trade-in value is a little bit higher. I'll get a little bit extra money for this when I sell it. And then um, I'll use that money, obviously, to pay the taxes on the new car. By the way, for young kids who are watching prizes, when you're watching TV shows, like shows like that, you have to pay taxes. Like when you go to Oprah and you win a fucking car or whatever, you have to pay thousands of dollars to get that car so it's still cool because i'm getting a new car but it's just like a lot of um hassle first world problems and i have to like get like an affidavit signed or something and i have to like go somewhere to get something notarized i have to fill out all this paperwork and like do shit with the irs it's like a big annoying spectacle but i get a new car for it so so that's what i'm doing right now going to meet a stranger in a parking lot who i'm blindly trusting to fix the scratches on my car story time so this is the guy that just did my car literally doing breathing exercises. I know that this was my fault from the get, so I'm not, I put myself in this situation. <laughs> he said, I can remove the scratches on your car. I was like, you can remove the scratches here in a parking lot, because I don't know how cars work. He's like, yeah, yeah, it's really easy. Just put some clear coat on it and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. So finally I have this guy come meet me. When I tell you, he pulls out acetone, like literally like nail polish remover acetone in a big bottle. I'm looking at him and I'm like, did this man really just have me come meet him so he could rub nail polish remover on my car for $80? Now, I don't want this to seem like I'm making a big deal over $80 because I don't have $80 to like spend on my car or something like that. It's not, it's not like that. But I'm not gonna pay somebody $80 to fucking rub acetone on my car. That's for damn sure. Especially because I'm like, I'm so trusting. And to me, I'm like, oh, this guy looks like he's just like trying to hustle and like maybe he's doing work on the side because maybe he can't like whatever. No, this guy is just a shady ass motherfucker who targets girls in parking lots with scratches on their car and tells them that they can <sighs> basically he thought I wouldn't know better there's still scratches all over my car mind you he removed paint transfer which you can do with WD-40 you can do with a, there's so many things you can do to just remove paint you can take it to a car detailing shop and have them wash your car and they'll remove the paint for you for like 20 bucks but the point was he said I will remove the scratches from your car so I expected him to have something that was like a scratch filler or something. I don't know. I've seen like infomercials with like stuff that you like rub in and it makes the scratches go away. I was expecting something and he did not provide that. He literally just removed paint transfer from my car, which I could have done by myself. There's like 12,000 YouTube tutorials that I could have looked up, like how to remove paint transfer from your car. I could have taken it to any car deal. I could have taken it to any car detailing place in LA. I could have taken it to a car wash and they would have removed my fucking paint transfer. So I'm uncomfortable because we're standing in a Rite Aid parking lot and like I have to like write him a check obviously and I'm just like saying as I'm writing I was like honestly like this is a ripoff. You know that this is a ripoff. That was not it took him three four minutes four minutes tops to do it like that's like the extent they were talking about. I was like <sighs> <sighs> Welcome back to First World Problems. I just had to go to a notary. My chicken and burnt quinoa is warmed up if you hear my microwave. I just went to this notary and I just like drove there and it's just, okay, I do this thing where I put all my errands off so that I have to do them all at once. And when you do that, you're rushing and when you're rushing, you mess a lot of stuff up. So basically I went to this notary, I have so many things to do today and I just like get there and I don't have my ID and they can't do it without an ID and I'm just like, son of a... 
Ugh. Just one of the little things in your busy day that I had to drive home and I'm gonna have to drive back there and it's just first world problems. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying my life is so hard, but God, it's just like one of those days where just all of these little annoying things keeps happening to me and I have uh, no patience and anger management problems, so I have a hard time dealing with them, but I'm gonna go eat this burnt quinoa that I made by myself and then I'm gonna head over there again and try again. So, yay. I am back at the notary. I have my ID. I am fed. I am emotionally stable. I am ready for this. And you, sir, are an asshole. All right, fam, so far today, productive. I did all those things that you saw and I just went to Goodwill and donated a bunch of clothes. Gotta stop vlogging and driving. I just got back from the gym, as you can tell by how freaking disgusting I am. I don't understand, some girls go to the gym and they are just so cute and they look so good. And even though they're working out so hard, they're not sweating. When I freaking wake up in the morning and get out of bed, my body thinks that I'm doing squats and I'm like sweating profusely. Like I will sweat for anything. I am always sweating, trying to dress myself in the morning. I sweat in the shower, like I'm always sweating. So when I'm actually working out, I'm drenched. But I feel much better now. I didn't show on camera because you know, but I was having a lot of anxiety today and um, just having a little trouble breathing and concentrating and was getting all worked up and like, <laughs> just being anxious and weird. But I always feel better when I go to the gym and work out for a while and just release some negative energy and do something positive for myself and my body so I feel way better. I was supposed to go film something with Alex James, but I'm too late now, so I'm going to be doing that tomorrow and I'm gonna spend tonight just getting my apartment put back together because it's kind of messy from when Lex came. I just like let it go. Editing this Saturday's video and I believe this is day seven of my vlog, so I guess I'm going to be editing these vlogs and start posting it tomorrow or as you'll be seeing it, start posting it last week. Anyways, I'm gonna start editing my vlogs for the first time. I don't know what they look like yet. I don't know if they're worth posting. We're gonna see. We're experimenting together. First thing David does every time he comes over is go through my cupboards and looks for snacks. Well, the second thing I do is complain about there being no snacks in the cupboards. Sometimes <laughs> Eliza calls so he doesn't All talk right, to me. Bye. <laughs> Love you. See ya. <laughs> kiss her. Oh, I got the first kiss. Ah! I got the first kiss. Hey, give me a piece. Is it gone? Yeah. Thanks. No problem. Guess who just finished editing her first vlog? If you didn't guess that right, then I'm seriously concerned for you. Yeah, it's weird saying I just finished editing my first vlog because by now you're watching vlog seven, but I'm just now editing the first one and I'm really excited about it. I'm happy I started this. I'm really nervous. It's just so different than what people are used to seeing of me, but I'm happy with it. I think it feels the way a, a vlog should. I'm sure I've already asked a thousand times by now, but if you have any feedback for me, if there's something you want to see or something you want me to do differently, something you want me to do more of, then let me know that so I can make these enjoyable for you, I guess. Yeah, it's 1am. I gotta get up early and I still don't have a sign off.